Hello viewers, we'll be going over WTI Crudo. In this video, we'll be going over where the tropical cyclone will be heading to in the Gulf of Mexico. And we'll also go over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, the how we find the models, and examining the current trend with the trend in the past. And we'll go over the day-by-day -day forecast for WTI Crudo. So let's head back to the technical analysis. Today we're up 30 eight basis points on the one error chart. We were at overbought RSI, however, we came off that during 1030's EIA numbers. And on the four hour chart, we were also at touching overbought RSI and we start to see a slight divergence on the four hour MACD. If we extend that further on to the daily chart, we are now breaking new nearer higher highs and I do see us finding a temporary support due to the tropical storm or tropical cyclone in the Gulf of Mexico because the storm could only really increase or really be upgrade to a hurricane so do keep that in mind so if we do manage to find that floor I do see a possible floor being around a price of $31.30 and we also see that as our 18 day moving average this purple line and we saw that as our previous support level or I should say previous resistance level now that we're above resistance that now act as our support and it was also previous support level that dated back to March 9th so that will be our first immediate support and as for resistance if we do manage to climb higher I do see a possible resistance around the price of $43.00 13 cents and we did have a gap between March 6 to March 9th so there is a open gap that we may possibly fill in the coming days so to the upside if we were to fill that gap resistance that price movement to the upside is 15 percent and to the downside to hit previous support levels and previous resistance level that to the downside is roughly around 13 percent to the downside. So let's first examine the Gulf of Mexico map. At the moment we have projections that head directly into major oil platforms in the Gulf of Mexico. These dotted black dotted not lines are the active oil and gas platforms and we also have natural gas refineries in the area as well between Texas and Louisiana. And if we examine closer, this is also based on total energy ranking or total production back in 2017. Texas is among the highest with a 20% share of U.S. oil production or energy production. And with Louisiana ranked 8 back in 2017. So do keep that in mind. So let's examine the day-by-day -day probability model for WTI crude oil. So as the days progress to the seventh day, we have a 50% chance for USL, which is another USO, but this takes into account of Contango for the WTI futures contract. So, so it was a we have a 50% chance for USL to climb between 0 to 5.5%. And on the extreme case, we have a 25% chance for WTI crude oil to climb between 5.5 to 11%. On to the downside, we have a 25% chance for WTI crude oil to fall between 0 to negative 5.5%. So now let's examine the day-by-day -day forecast for WTI crude oil. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. We have our current trend as the blue line and overlapping is the purple line. That is the best match to the current trend. We have our current trend here and below this trend is best match and that trend dates back to April 22nd to June 4th, 2009. So let's compare the two trends. So what we have here is we start off at the middle Bollinger Band, to proceed to touch the lower band of the Bollinger Band, and then re-average above the middle Bollinger Band for the rest of the remaining of the trend. And then on here, we also start off at the middle Bollinger Band, 
proceed to touch the bottom band and then we average above the middle Bollinger band towards the very end. So what we have here is one, two, three points. We also have one, two, three points. So there's a reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was April 22nd to June 4th, 2009. Back then, WTI crude oil was up around 95 basis points. So if we examine on the day-by-day -day probability model, that coincides with this standard deviation of 50% chance between 0 to 5.5%. So now let's examine closer on the technical performance of each model. So on our current trend, we're 0% away from monthly high, up 32% from monthly low, up 5.3% from 10 simple moving average, up 12.9% from 20 simple moving average, and where there is no 50-day simple moving average because we're only examining a 30-day trend. So now the trend that we just examined, back then it was up. 0% from monthly high, up 23% from monthly low, up 6.5% from 10 simple moving average, and up 10.6% from 20 simple moving average. So among the two trends on the current trend and in the trend in the past, there are technical similarities among the two. So again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.